something very unique in uh, Puerto Barrios that I thought was worth showing. Just to back up a little bit, I lived part-time in Guatemala since 2015 to help start a film school. Since teaching there, I lived there on and off throughout the year. And one of my students invited me to his small hometown on the coast called Puerto Barrios, where the film takes place. My student who ended up helping as a co-producer on the film basically said, my town is rich in beautiful places to film. Can I just show you them for a weekend? And as we started location scouting, I started meeting people from the community. And with every person I met, they had a different story for me. Instead of just spending the weekend with my student, I went back every weekend for like months and interviewing people who had an interesting story to tell or an interesting background or life. Once I collected enough of them, I started incorporating things that I found were going on in Guatemala at the time. And it, I came together with a rough draft of a story. And that's how it started. It's a great honor. It's one of the great, it's one of the best festivals in the world. And for me, it's a great opportunity to show the immense talent and in Guatemala to an international audience. I've also been a great, great believer that Cameron and everyone at the festival really care about every film that they put there. It gave me my start, my first feature uh, premiered there. I'll always be indebted to Toronto as a festival for helping get my first thing I ever did out into the world. If you're a cinephile and a movie lover, there's no better place to be. Para estar seguro.